at Mervyn's after Thanksgiving sale. Six ninety nine. Fun to dress. Barbie's two forty nine. Six months. Come to Oasis Bedrooms this weekend. Light show only on YouTube. Hello again and welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you are enjoying your holiday week. Happy Thanksgiving for those in the U.S. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday seeing family, friends, however you are navigating this year's holidays, which are a strange one from me to you. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. So we have a little treat to install on our GTI today. It is GTI Wednesday, so we've got uh, something to do. Last video, you saw us install the rear sway bar. If you haven't seen that video, be sure you go up, click in the left hand corner. And I mentioned what we'd be installing this week is some chassis bracing. So right here, we've got our two little braces. These are from ECS Tuning. These are their rear chassis brace sets. They say that it triangulates your rear end. How much does it do? I don't know. Figure it can't hurt. It looks cool. It's like a anodized or actually powder coated. It's a powder coated red. So it looks pretty cool, not that anyone's gonna see it. It's really sturdy, it looks good, it feels right. And uh, we've got two of these to install. So they should, they go from each side of the car through the center little brace. It's just a little tiny pipe that connects between the tunnel of the exhaust. So basically it connects your left and your right to the center, which is already connected. So theoretically it should help stiffen up a little bit. That's the theory. And I don't know how much testing I'll be able to do for it, but I feel like overall it should make the car feel a little bit better in the long term with all of our other upgrades that we've done. So it should be a pretty quick and easy thing to do. It's only like eight bolts, so I'm gonna jack the car up and we're gonna get underneath and uh, get this thing installed. So starting on this side, the driver's side, you can see in the middle of the car right here is our center brace that connects each side of the tunnel. We're going to be using these two bolts here and then over here, right behind my jack right here, are the two other bolts. Okay, so we've got each end bolted in, and now we just need to add the centerpiece right there, and then we should have one, not solid, but one uh, continuous piece of structure to each side of the car. Chassis mounting is all attached, tightened down to both sides. So we should have a little bit more structural integrity back here. At least that's the thought. As I said, I can't claim that this does anything quite yet because I haven't driven with it and I don't know if we'll even feel anything with it. But as you can see, it definitely beefs everything up towards the center rear of the car. So let's put the car down and uh, we'll go for a test drive to see you know, if there's any difference and wrap the video up. All right, so initial impressions, as I always do. I think we'd be getting into butt dyno territory if I were to say this definitely made a difference, if it felt stiffer or anything like that. I can't speak to it. Um, I mean, I know the car, but I don't know it super well since I really haven't had it that long. I haven't done too much extreme driving with it or anything like that, so it's really, really tough to tell but in combination with the sway bar, granted this is like with the sway bar and everything, it still feels very good. It doesn't, it might maybe, maybe feel stiffer. Take that as you will. But 
it's just uh, it's surely a little bit of a compliment to that rear sway bar and you know we're probably gonna do some other upgrades like there's a uh, sway bar hard mounting bracket we might look into that in the future as well and also some more underbody bracing to keep flex down on this big old golf so just do a quick spin here like I said there's not too many curvy roads here in North uh, Texas definitely feels good though feels good all right, we'll go about 60 here. We'll take this turn. Definitely stays flat. It's partially due to the sway bar mostly, but it feels good. Let's do another little U-turn here. Oh yeah, very, very nice. Just come out here. Very nice. So I can't honestly tell you guys whether or not the brackets, uh, the chassis bracing made a huge difference, but it definitely complements the sway bar. The sway bar still feels good. It doesn't change the dynamic. Didn't make it any stiffer, like worse, like over, like over stiffening it. So I'd say that's a good thing. Um, I think it just has to provide something that you maybe not be able to even tell unless you're driving it really hard. And since this is a daily, I'm not doing that every single day but this car isn't a fun daily it's definitely turning out to be a nice little street drivable car that I'm really looking forward to maybe taking to an autocross and taking to the back road still I just haven't really had a chance to do that yet with you know the kid and everything but yeah that turn felt good so with that being said happy Thanksgiving I hope you're enjoying your day and your holiday week thanks so much for tuning in be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and you are new to the channel give this video a thumbs up leave your comments below and i'll see you in the next one